Hi guys, it's Gloria, and today I would like to share with you 20 easy ways to wear silk scarves so that you can wear them more like a fashionista and less like a grandma. These are all specifically designed for those of us who are not that good with our hands. Random facts about my hands that nobody asked for, these hands are extremely inflexible and can't hold anything without dropping it. So if my hands can do it, your hands can do it. When it comes to silk scarves, there are so many different patterns to choose from, so I understand it could get quite confusing and overwhelming. I like to simplify things. There are so many things in life for me to worry about, and the last thing I want is scarves being complicated. So I would say, if you're just starting to experiment with silk scarves, just start with two and see if you actually like them. You only need a small square scarf for basic uses and a large square scarf for more creative uses. And I'm going to show you exactly how to wear both in this video. By the way, just so you know, my air conditioner is broken and it's really hot that I haven't been able to fall asleep at night or function properly during the day. So I probably have like two brain cells left. Anyway, let's start with the small silk scarf and let me introduce you to my best friend, the chair. I spent more time with it than with anyone else. I'm sorry guys, I think one of my brain cells just died. The first easy way is to put a ring on it. Oh god, what a cheesy name. Anyway, all I need to do is to fold the square into a triangle and then fold it, fold it, and fold it again. Now I just put the scarf around my neck and then slip a ring through the tip of the scarf. And here you go. Now I can hide the fact that I can't even tie a scarf properly. Another really easy one is the no-brainer classic knot. I'll fold the scarf the same way as before and then tie a little knot at the front. I like tying it on one side, like the tendon style. This is the most classic way to wear a scarf. And plus, I might be able to impersonate a flight attendant and sneak on a plane. I like things a little bougie, and of course there's a bougie way to wear a scarf. To do so, I'll fold the scarf into a triangle again, and then maybe fold it two more times. Now I'll reverse it and place the triangle right in front of my neck. I'll wrap the scarf around my neck and secure a tiny knot at the front. And voila! Classy, bougie, elegant, c'est moi. The French just cringed. Maybe you don't want to be elegant, you want to be a cool girl. Well, you can wear a scarf as a choker too. To do so, I just fold my scarf so many times that it becomes a thin stripe and then tie it at the back of my neck. Due to the pattern of my chosen scarf, I'm a half-assed cool girl at best. Now that I've liberated myself from the choker, I can turn it into a headband too. I'm just gonna use the same thin stripe and wrap it around my head. And then I'll secure it by tying a little knot on top of my head. I like sticking the remaining fabric underneath and then push my hair out a little bit. And now the cool girl has turned into a sweet girl. I'll never be a sweet girl, so I'll just stop pretending. Using the scarf as a scrunchie is a bit more sophisticated and low-key. First, I'll tie my hair up with an elastic, and then I'll just tie the scarf around my hair. And that's it! Effortless and chic. Perfect for when you're just trying this whole silk scarf thing out. You can also braid the scarf into your hair. I'll loosely tie my hair with the scarf and divide my hair into three parts like how I would normally braid my hair, except now the scarf is braided into it. And then I'll secure the braid with an elastic. This actually makes me look like I have more hair because now there's literally a scarf in my hair. Oh, that's sad. The country girl style is really hot right now. Basically, you just wear the scarf on your head like the farm girls do. To do so, I'll fold the scarf into a triangle and put it on my head. Then I'll just tie a little knot at the back. Simple. But the key here is a pair of cat eye sunglasses because it's fashion. You don't have to wear the scarf on you, you can wear it on your handbag too. I'll just grab a random bag I have and tie a little knot on the handle. And now the country girl has turned into a city girl who's ready to strut down the street. Or not. Remember those days when gentlemen still exist and there was this thing called a pocket square? Well, we can do it too. I'm just gonna fold the scarf into a small square and then fold it like it's a hand roll. I'll stuff it into my little pocket here and now I'll be ready when I make someone cry. Now let's move on to the large silk scarf and let me introduce you to my other best friend, the other chair. We spent a little less time together. Anyway, 
With a large silk scarf, my favorite way is to wear it on my head like a 60s Hollywood star. To do so, I'll fold the scarf into a triangle and then fold it again until there's just enough fabric to cover my head. Now I'll put it on my head, wrap it around my neck, and secure it at the back. A pair of sunglasses is also a must because that's what stars do, right? The 70s hippie headscarf trend is making a comeback again, so let's do this. I'll fold the scarf the same way as before, only this time I'm wrapping it on my forehead. Now I'll tie a knot at the back of my head. And finally, I'm adding a pair of tiny sunglasses that are absolutely useless. I promise this is the only crazy one on the list. I just learned how to do it. First, I'll tie my hair into a bun, and then I'll bend over, put the scarf on my head like so, and tie a knot at the front. Now, you see this little tip here? I'll flip it over and tie the scarf again. Since I still have some fabric left, I'll tie it again at the back. And finally, I'll add a pair of bold hoop earrings. Now, please let me have my Vogue moment. Okay, let's move on to something more practical. Have you ever dropped food on yourself and it makes you feel super embarrassed? Well, no more. All I'm doing here is placing the scarf in front of my shirt and then I'll loosely tie a knot at the back. Now I have a stylish cover-up. It's part of my outfit, darling. Your regular shirt is getting a little boring and you need something more special? Well, let me introduce you to the bow tie. I'm folding the scarf into a thin rectangle and then I'll just make a bow tie in front of my neck. I have to say, now I kind of look like a Christmas gift, but at least I'm a fancy one. Running out of tops to wear? You can wear your scarf, like literally. To do so, I'll just fold the scarf into a triangle and then wrap it around my body and secure it at the back. Since I don't want to flash anyone, I'll have to do this part off camera. And just like that, a brand new top, like you just walked out of a 90s music video. It's getting a bit cold, and unless someone is willing to lend you a jacket, you need to improvise. Well, with the scarf on hand, I can just wrap it around me and wear it as a shawl. Now, this is what I call an independent woman. Okay, I'm reading way too much into this. You're at a party and see someone wearing the same dress. God damn it. But all hope is not lost. All I need to do is to wrap the scarf around my waist and then tie a knot on one side. And now I have a brand new skirt with a slip design. Sorry darling, I know you suspect we're wearing the same dress, but mine has more design than yours. Your basic blazer is a bit too basic? You can actually fake a new collar for it. To do so, I'll fold the scarf into a rectangle and place it around my neck. And then I'll just leave the scarf inside as if it's part of my blazer. Well, 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 new suit, who this? Didn't bring a belt and your pants are falling down? Don't worry, you can use your scarf as a belt too. I'm just gonna fold the scarf into a thin rectangle and slide it through the belt loop. And then I'll tie a knot at the front and just let the fabric drape. Now thanks to the scarf, my pants won't fail me, unlike everything else in life. Wow, that joke was a bit dark. Anyway, I hope you learned a thing or two about how to use your silk scars. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm gonna go back to sleep now. <laughs>